Well, hello, fourth graders. If you are paying attention, you notice that I am outside. I'm right outside the school. Our next unit, we're kind of easing into it this week as we finish up stuff from unit one, government in action. And we're just going to start thinking and reading a little bit about nature as everybody gets settled into the week's work and gets their supplies. We are going to just be thinking and experiencing nature. So today, if you can, I want you to get outside. Maybe you can go for a little drive to a place that is natural, maybe a little bit different than your yard. Maybe you live on a property where there's a lot of space to explore and I want you to get out in nature. I want you to take a few things with you. You all have your reading response journal and I want you to have it set up like this. I want you to go on a nature walk and I want you to think about what um, you can see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. That should ring a bell for you. That means we are using our five senses, right? Our five senses to really respond and react to nature. So I'm out here and I also brought something else and some of you have this already and some of you may not have it yet, but it's our winter scavenger hunt checklist. Now I checked the forecast for Tuesday, which is the day you're assigned to this and it says snow. So you might think, oh gosh, snow, it's a great time to go out in nature because you can see more things and you notice different things. So on that list are a lot of things you might be able to find today on a winter scavenger hunt. If it doesn't work out to do that winter scavenger hunt today, save it, do it another day this week. Get out, try and find those things. Keep it in the back of your mind. But I at least want you to get out and use your five senses in nature. So as I'm standing here, right away I feel cold. The wind is cold, the air is cold, I can even see my breath a little bit. I'm gonna be quiet and listen. Right now I hear sounds that aren't natural. I hear a horn, I can hear a motor. So I might have to be a little bit more still to be able to really hear what is in nature. To touch things, I might walk around and, and actually touch this. This is really soft but down here, the leaves are really dry. And, and when I crinkle them, I can hear the rustling and the crunching of leaves. So get outside today, take a walk, invite somebody in your family to go with you and use your five senses. Take your time, no rush, no rush. And think about what you see, hear, smell, taste, whoa, taste taste? Do I want you to start licking things or biting things or chewing things out in nature? No, no, I don't want you to do that. I want you to breathe in. You can taste things even without um, biting into them. So maybe there's a taste that you can experience when you're in nature today. And then when you come back to finish up your work, I want you to participate in a discussion. I want you to let us know what did you see, hear, smell, taste, and feel out in nature today. Each day this week, we are going to immerse ourselves a little bit more into nature and become good observers of nature. Have a great nature walk.